Radio Rahim here with Joe Joyce with a blistering knockout tonight over uh, Linroy Thomas. This was a a huge fight, man. Like people thought this fight could go either way. They were talking about was it too soon for you, and it ended so quickly. Did you find any difficulty in there tonight? Well, yeah, Linroy Thomas is obviously a good boxer, and he ha he possessed that. Like he was very quick, and he caught me with he caught me with a shot, a couple of shots. In the early rounds, and um, you know, but I just, you know, got I just followed my game plan, and um, you know, landed with some big shots, and it was uh, I think the left hook that caught him at close range that took him out, and um, you know, I thought I thought he was there's some stages where I thought he was tying a bit in in the round, and um, so I, I I was on him. A fighter who's been in the game 15 years and won multiple championships will still tell me every time they go in there they learn something. What did you learn tonight? Uh, I learned... I'm not sure. <laughs> what did I learn? I don't know. I, I, you know, I thought I... Uh, I well, every fight you, you learn things and I have to watch it back to get a clearer understanding of what, um, what I need to work on and you know, what went well and stuff like that. But yeah. I mean, listen, Thomas is no pushover, right? I mean, obviously, he's a well-built guy. He's had his success in the ring. He's had a lot of experience. When you say it was that left hook that you felt like caught him, at that moment, did you feel like, hey, this could be a short night? If I, if I step on the gas right now, I could get him out of here, or were you still being cautious? No, I didn't think I could get him out of there because I, I, landed, I landed some big shots in the early rounds, and um, he was taking them, and he was coming forward. I was thinking, oh, this might be a long night. <laughs> so... Um, yeah, but I just, you know, just keep on keeping on him and, uh, and uh, you know, eventually it, it came and uh, I managed to take him out. Uh, before the fight, there was talk of a comparison to the Lomachenko and Salido fight and, you know, maybe it was too soon for him. We see the Lomachenko is, you know, a lot of people's top on um, their pound for pound list now. How quickly do you feel like you will be able to ascend through the ranks of heavyweight boxers and get a world title shot. Yeah, um, I think I'm, I'm close to that level now. So, um, you know, I just, I'm just going to go take it step by step and, you know, keep on, keep on um, going up in the levels. Is there any particular fighter that you feel like is on your radar now? Like, hey, man, that's a big fight for me that I could win. Um, the, obviously, the rematch with Tony Oka would be would be good, an Olympic final rematch. But I think I'm uh, going a lot more uh, vertical than uh, Tony. The fact that you even mentioned that makes me feel like that still sticks in your craw, man. Like, does that that fight still bother you at night? Nah, not really. But um, you know, I think it would be a good fight to have. Like, it'd be you know, I think it'd be a great fight. Like in history to have one one day, but um, uh, for right now, uh, I'll just look at you know possibly the uh, British title, the winner of the British title, or and then go go that route, and then uh, possibly European. I don't know. I'll just um, you know just leave that thing to my t leave leave all that to my team, and just like concentrate on myself, improve myself with Ishmael Salas and and Ruben Tavares and just uh, just continually improving myself and, to, and, uh, and then you know whatever my team decides the best route then I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to them to sort out and lastly with the kind of success that you've had uh, is there a particular fighter that or a heavyweight in particular that maybe uh, you, you pat yourself after in history is there some guy that you look at that's like you know I want to model my career or my path after that particular guy. No, not really. I'm just um, shaping my own path, and I want to be, you know, leave a legacy. And um, I just want to. Obviously, I can take inspiration, you know, from people like, uh, you know, Muhammad Ali. Obviously, I'm not as gifted talking as him, but uh, or, uh, or Joe Lewis and Teofilo Stevenson. I like, I like, I like to, you know, take influence from people like that. Radio Rahim with Joe Joyce. Victorious tonight. It was a tremendous win, man. Congratulations on the rocket ship career. Good luck in your future endeavors. Radio Rahim with Joe Joyce.